Welcome to the next Moto Champion Talk Show brought to you by Dunlop. If you missed last week's episode, you can always go back and watch it on our YouTube channel or subscribe to our newsletter on the front page of nextmotochampion.com and get the next Moto Champion Talk Show delivered straight to your inbox each Tuesday. Hashtag Talk Show Tuesday. And now for the news. MotoGP heads to Thailand this weekend for the 15th round where the battle will continue. Let's take a look at all point standings after Aragon leading into the race weekend. World Superbike saw history made this weekend at Magna Course, starting with Anna Carrasco, who became the first female world champion in the Supersport 300 class. From entering the newly made class in 2017 to taking the title in 2018, Anna has given new meaning to the phrase, ride like a girl. Congrats to Anna and to German rider Marcus Reiterberger, who is the new Superstock 1000 champion after Magna Coors, and of course, to now four-time champion Jonathan Ray, who clinched his eighth race win in a row, solidifying his championship title just before taking his fourth consecutive double winning weekend. Congrats to all newly crowned champs. World Supersport has still yet to be decided. Let's take a look at how points stand. Next up, Argentina. Back stateside in American flat track, the series saw the Minnesota Mile, where the magic miler Brian Smith was back in action. In 45 degree weather, Brian Smith stole the show in spectacular fashion as his two leading competitors in the race, Briar Bauman and Jared Meese, both suffered from mechanical issues late in the race, handing the victory to Brian. Brian's response to such luck, I'd rather be lucky than good any day. In the singles class, Kelby Carlisle took the win. Let's take a look at point standings after the Minnesota Mile. Next up, it's the Meadowlands. Moto America has officially wrapped its 2018 season, but some riders have other plans. J.D. Beach will be contesting the final two rounds of the American Flat Track Series with Estenson Racing. He finished in seventh place at the Minnesota Mile aboard the Estenson-backed machine. He'll close out the season with the team and the season finale at the Meadowlands next week. And that's your news. All right, it's time for this week's product spotlight. Vibrations and road impact forces are a common cause of rider fatigue. At Saddleman, we believe that a motorcycle seat is effective when it delivers consistent comfort, even when that material is pushed to the limit. The bow and arrow test is designed to prove whether or not a seat's material is pliable enough to handle a sharp, forceful impact and bounce back to handle more. When a slab of saddle gel stands between the arrow and a light bulb, not only does the light stay on, but the gel snaps right back into shape. When you replace it with a chunk of foam you'd find in most stock and aftermarket motorcycle seats, pliable is out the window. No impact deflection, resilience, no bounce back, no more light bulb. Saddle gel's elastic properties allow it to keep its support even as it's snapping back into shape, where foam's total lack of pliability causes it to give up when confronted with the same force of impact. For a motorcycle seat that lets you go the distance without feeling the distance, the choice is clear. Saddleman Seats with Gel Core Technology.
And now for your Umbrella Girl of the Month, courtesy of Umbrella Girls USA. You may recognize Savannah as she has worked with the Yamaha brand extensively in 2018. She was honored to be Valentino Rossi's Umbrella Girl at Austin MotoGP back in April, especially since she's a big fan of the sport and of Rossi herself. Since then, she's worked with Yamaha in the Moto America series and even sang the national anthem at the Utah round. Savannah is an aspiring jazz and blues singer and also writes her own music. She was born and raised in New Jersey and is a former Miss New Jersey Teen USA. And that's your Umbrella Girl of the Month. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have more for you all season, including your favorite racers, fast products, Moto America, and American flat track coverage. Don't forget to join the 20,000 others and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join our newsletter and get this show and more straight in your inbox each week. We look forward to spending the second half of the season with you, and for the latest in motorcycle racing, it's here at Next Moto Champion.